Hi guys, welcome to this revision summary video on everything that you need to know on giant covalent bonding and allotropes of carbon. Now to help me explain what an allotrope is and what giant covalent bonding is, I'm going to use diamond and graphite. Nice and simply, these have lots of strong covalent bonds. Bearing in mind simple covalent only had a few, we've got a lot of covalent bonds here. This gives every covalent compound high melting points because lots of energy is needed to break those strong covalent bonds. Now the key examples of giant covalent compounds you need to know are all allotropes of carbon. An allotrope is something that's all made of the same element, carbon, but that has different structures. The main ones being diamond and graphite. So if we start with diamond, you can see here every carbon has four strong covalent bonds to them. This makes it really, really strong, so it's used in cutting tools. Graphite, you can see, is also made out of carbon, but it looks different, it has a different structure. Every carbon atom here only has three strong covalent bonds. This gives it a delocalized electron. That delocalized electron is free to move, which makes it useful in electrodes. The other useful property of graphite is it has layers. Those layers can slide past each other, and because they can slide past each other, they reduce friction, and therefore they're really useful as lubricants in cars. Okay, we're gonna move on to the next allotropes then, the other ones that you need to know, which are graphene and your fullerenes, such as Buckminster fullerene or your nanotubes. There are three other allotropes of carbon that you do need to know, which are nanotubes, graphene, and Buckminster fullerene. One thing that's really important is Buckminster fullerene itself is not a giant covalent compound that has the formula C60, so that is simple covalent. But I've put it in here because it's an allotrope. Now, all three of these allotropes have three strong covalent bonds. That means that all of them have delocalized electrons, electrons that are free to move, and therefore they all conduct electricity. So that's one important property for them. In particular, in graphene, which is so tiny, so small, it can be used in circuits. Nanotubes are really, really strong. Therefore, they're used in tennis rackets. Why are they strong? Because there's lots of strong covalent bonds. And then Buckminster fullerene, it looks like a football. What it can do is it can cage different drugs, so it's used in drug delivery systems. And that brings this revision summary video to an end. Hi guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please click on like down below. You can also subscribe to my channel, you can check out the latest video, and you can visit my website up above here. Bye now.